Well, in terms of the potential, there are certainly efforts ramping up every day from companies across the world. And that list put out by the WHO showing that 70 candidate vaccines are in development right now just highlights how many different researchers are putting efforts into uh, finding a vaccine. Of those 70, only three, as you mentioned, are actually in clinical trials right now, which means they're being tested on humans. The furthest along is a uh, vaccine being developed by a Chinese uh, company, China's CanSino Biologic, and this has been done in conjunction with uh, Beijing's Institute of Biotechnology. They're in phase two trials. Phase one trials are being carried out by US biotech firm Moderna, as well as the US pharma company Innovio Pharmaceuticals. Beyond that, the other 67 vaccines candidates are still in preclinical trial uh, mode, which means we are still months and months away from that vaccine. But coming back to your point about AstraZeneca and the news that came out of that pharma company today, to bridge the gap between now and when this ultimate panacea, the vaccine, is available, uh, companies are ramping up efforts to find treatments as well. And this news from AstraZeneca, this is an existing drug, Calquence. It's a drug that is uh, currently being used to treat adult leukemia, they think it has potential to treat COVID-19. We've also had some positive news uh, over the weekend from uh, Gilead, the remdesivir drug, another existing drug that is being explored to treat COVID-19. They found in a, a, a compassionate use program that 68% of 53 hospitalized patients who use the drug saw improvement in their condition. So some optimism there. One thing though, one uh, treatment or possible treatment that has uh, had some negative news flow over the last few days is that chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, these are the two anti-malaria drugs that President Trump has regularly touted for their promise. Uh, but over the weekend, news emerged that a small study of chloroquine in Brazil was halted due to concerns over safety and the impact that high doses of the drug could have on uh, heartbeats and, and the heart. So it, there are some concerns mounting in the medical, medical community about those two drugs, but there is some promise out there. The bottom line when we talk about vaccines and possible treatments is that it is too early. There's not enough data to draw any meaningful conclusions. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.